Good morning, guys. How's everybody doing today? Um, I'm working on the border model again here. Uh, I've got some more work done. Um, I'm enjoying the kit. There's a few things I don't like, but you know, like you'll have that with kits. But I got, I got the guns made. There's like five parts per gun, so they're not too bad looking. Um, even the barrels are drilled out. You know, so that's a nice feature. Uh, the tires and wheels, they look pretty good. Um, you have a choice of the flattened, you know, loaded tire, or you got one, you got another set that, you know, not flattened. But I like how these go together. You put the wheel pieces together first, then the tire halves go over that. So it seems like that works out pretty good. Um, I don't know if you can see the detail very well or not. Uh oh, come on, focus it out. There we go. But that's them which ain't too bad. Um, the landing gear, now, when you see these, you think of Tamiya. You know, these, these slide together, there's a little pin that goes in it. Uh, there's really no sp spring inside, so, uh, then your uh, connecting things here, I can't think of the name of them, go there, so I guess that's your support. Um, so I don't know if this is going to be a weak point for the kit or not, but, I mean, they're kind of, they're nicely done, I think. So, but we'll see if it's a weak point. See if I can get you the instruction up here to see what I'm talking about. Just a second, guys. Um, so yeah, the detail on these ain't too bad, but as you can see, they slide together. How they go, and these pieces here, whatever you call them, you know. So I guess these would be the support. And then you got the little pin that holds the leg in. So I will see how it does. I don't know. But anyways, it's a good idea, I think. Uh, but we'll see how weak it is. All right. Now, another issue. It's not an issue to me. I, you know, maybe to some other people. Is uh, they give you nine paint schemes on this aircraft. I mean, you got nine choices, you know. So, there's a couple of them there. There's, you know, you got that one there. You got the, the Finland one. You know, this one here. And you got this one. But you don't have the, you know. So. But when you get your decal sheet. You only have enough decals to do uh, three of them. So then you get this extra little set in the package thing for the Herman Graf because that was my box. I got in the kit. So it was the Herman Graf. So I got the decals to do his, which, I mean, it's all good. I think they were a little light on the decals for the, the model itself. You know, like the walk walkway line things the red lines they don't have that so you either got to paint them on or whatever and other little odd, odds and ends of um markings on the kit so but i think they could have added a few more decals you know like for the instrument panel and stuff but that's my personal opinion i'm not dogging on them but you know i don't know who's offering anything for 135th scale yet but maybe some uh, aftermarket stuff will be coming out i assume other than that, I mean, the kit build's nice, the plastic's nice, uh, the way the things are mounted on the sprue are nice, you know, even your really small parts and stuff, real small sprue gates, easy to get off, even on your lines and stuff, so, nicely job on that, but, overall, that's all I got to say for today, uh, I'm gonna get this landing gear done today, get it painted, get the tires and wheels painted, and I got a few other little pieces of paint, and uh, then I can start assembling the engine and doing some weathering on it and stuff, and get it mounted to the cockpit. So, but anyways, guys, that's where I'm at on this build. Uh, hope everybody's doing well, and uh, we'll talk at you later now. Take care now. Bye. Oh, wait a second. Got my sidekick helper here. She's always got to be here doing something. Say hi, Nephi. <laughs> uh, she ain't laughing today. All right, guys. Have a great day. Bye.